What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. We have another TriPoint model that we're going to show you today. Yesterday, we toured that home there. Today, we have the slightly larger uh, property. Oh, you can come on, sir. Um, with this model here, we actually have our full bedroom. We have a bedroom and a full bath on the main level. So that is an option over here as well. But this kitchen, in my opinion, is better. This kitchen is, is, is as if Corella DeVille actually reformed her life, got herself a, a, a nice little family, and also still wanted to stay quite fashionable. This kitchen here is like if Bruce Wayne uh, became like a soccer dad, right? And he was going to all of the, the park to play with the kids, he would design his property like that. So we are in Brambleton and Loudoun, so let's go inside and take a look. Before we go into this beautiful home, did you know that there are three recommended home inspections for new construction properties? If you didn't, let's work together to ensure you have the best building experience in Northern Virginia. I specialize in assisting buyers like you throughout the entire new construction process. Best of all, the builder covers my real estate commission, which means you'll have no money out of pocket for my services. I'll be with you through your contract negotiation, design center consultation, three home inspections, final walkthrough, and the signing of your closing paperwork to receive the keys for your new home. To get started, simply click the link in the description below to complete our perfect home questionnaire. Once completed, we'll meet online via Zoom to answer all your questions about buying a new home in Northern Virginia. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this stunning property tour. I'll talk to you soon. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised when you see the uh, owner suite in this model here. So we walk in, this is like a very nice entrance. Wide hallway here. Soon as we get to our right here, this is where that bedroom option, if you need it, will go, right? So this is right off of the front porch. You get a lovely view. You have a nice step-in closet here and you have quick access to the full bathroom if you need it. So this full bathroom would be shared as the powder room for this level. So there isn't an additional bathroom on this level. We have our stairs going up or down. That hallway entrance, that foyer area, very nice entrance. And then we have this gorgeous space here. Mm, mm, mm. Was I, was I spot on? Do you think that Cruella DeVille with her family after she has turned her life around would like this space? I think she would. I think Bruce Wayne would wanna lighten up the Wayne Manor. So we have a lovely fireplace on this wall here. Gorgeous, great room space. We have uh, our dining room as well. We actually have another space that I'm gonna show you shortly that could also serve as a dining room space. We have two entrances or exit points for our backyard, which we will go to as well. Plenty of windows. Oh man, what do you think about this space? Let me know in the comment section. Could you see yourself preparing a meal here, right? Could you see yourself entertaining guests here? probably already noticed there's no pantry. That's not true. It's right behind this wall here. A nice step-in pantry. What's cool about this model is you have the double wall oven and you have your microwave. I like the pulls that they decided to use with this model here. Very classy, modern design. You know, I know that the uh, waterfall is like the craze right now, but there's something about the quick change between countertops to a nice painted cabinet. We got plenty of space between our cooking area and our sink. So let's do our sink view. So to the left here, we have our windows that look outside. We have our, we have plenty of counter space as well. And then to the right over here, we have our 
kitchen or our, our dining room area. All right, so before we go explore more on that side, let's go outside, let's go outside, but let's go through the double doors. Let's give ourselves this double door experience. All right, let's go look at this from here. Yeah, look at that. Nice little screened in porch. Turn this into like a three seasons room. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's check out this backyard. Isn't this nice to even have the option of having a backyard, right? So that's the back of your property there. You do have a walk-up basement there. Gorgeous how you could have two sitting areas for your backyard. Get yourself a nice little fire pit there. All right, so there are one, two, three, four steps up, and then a, another additional step to get onto this main platform here. And then we step out of this space here. Okay, so let's go see that room right over there. And you kind of see, it's, it's gonna be a tight space if it were to be a another eating area, the way they have it set up. Let's just get this little panning shot here. The way they have it set up is like a little office area. So if you, if you convert that front room into a bedroom, then you still are missing that, that office space that a lot of people in this price point are looking for. That door there takes us to your true two-car garage. Right now it's set up as a sales office, but you can see plenty of space there. And then you have your mud room with your sitting area and your double door closet, coat closet system. So I said, so now let's go upstairs to the bedroom level and you're gonna be highly impressed with the owner suite so let's start that part of the tour. Let's count these steps. One, two, 16, 17. All right. Now, as soon as we walk in, we have the owner's suite right there. I don't want to surprise it for you. We're going to leave that. I don't want to end ruin that surprise for you. We're going to save it for the end. Then we have a nice amount of flex space here. They have it set up as like a separate living space. So if you do have kids, maybe this will be their space, or maybe if you do have in-laws that live with you, this could be like their separate living space. This is off of the side of the property there. If your laundry room with your wash sink, and then we have all three of your guest bedrooms are on this side. So we have one guest bedroom with this own bath, then we have two guest bedrooms down this hall, and then we have your guest bathroom and your linen closet. So this is guest bedroom number one, which has its own ensuite. So we have a double door closet system. This is off to the front of the property here. Nice size space too. If you notice, there's room on the edges Despite, the, despite this being like mid-size, not necessarily oversized end tables. So you could definitely fit a queen size bed in here with two nightstands. And then you have your ensuite right there. What else is nice about this is that the closet is on that wall there. So you don't have to worry about doors swinging into furniture. All right, so we have our coat closet, like I mentioned. Then we have our double vanity guest bathroom. This is my favorite guest bathroom design. And the reason why is there's a door that's 
that separates the toilet and the shower. So that means that you have two kids or two, two individuals in here doing two separate tasks, right? You have somebody brushing their teeth, washing their face, getting ready in the morning, and then you have another person taking a shower or a bath. And it's really nice that they have a window on this level here, right? So now let's take a look at guest bedroom number two. So guest bedroom number two, another nice size room here. Plenty of windows. And you have a nice little step in closet space. Right? Step in closet. And this is the last guest bedroom before we go and see the owner's suite. So they have this stage as like a little craft station. I could also see this as your second office in the event that you have a home where two people need home offices. Right? So you do have your double door closet system. I like, I like what's going on right here. I do. I like what's going on right here. That's that's really nicely staged. Look at that. That's cool. What do you all think about me filming my videos on this iPhone 15 Pro? How do you like the quality of the videos? We also, you know, stepped it up to 4K as well, so you can enjoy this on a nice large screen. Because you're gonna need to, because when you see this owner suite, so as soon as you step in, we have Closet number one, that's right. This is only closet number one. I love a nice fedora. They're speaking my language. All right, that's closet number one. Closet number two is going to cause some people hardships in their, in their households because this closet is massive. Massive, look at that. You could fit, I've seen this on TV where you could fit like a little piece of furniture, like in the middle here. So you can have some additional storage space. Maybe put another rod here. I mean, you could put a bed in here. I mean, this place, this, this is huge. This is huge, this is huge. All right. Then we have our bathroom. Look at that, look at, I love how they put that tub perfectly in the middle there. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous view. You have a nice size walk-in shower with a bench. You have two vanities that both have storage on the bottom and then a lot of counter space as well. You got a place over here for your figurines. And then we have your linen closet. Now, where are you gonna sleep? In this gorgeous space here. I love what they've done with the windows. Look how the windows shape the space. Not only this way, but also this way as well. Look at that. Don't you feel relaxed just being in here right now? You got the tray ceilings to give you some Definition as far as height is concerned. All right, man, what a gorgeous space. Gorgeous space. Now let's go check out, check out the basement level. All right. All right, so the basement is off of the main staircase. One, two, 15, 16, 17. All right, so now we are in the basement. Let's start from left to right here. So we have storage underneath the stairs. We have this unfinished space right here which could be anything. It could be a fitness facility. It could be a 
gaming room. It could be a entertainment space. It could be a theater room. It's you, whatever your imagination desires. That is an option here. We got those spooky doors just hanging around. Then we have your mechanical room, which has some additional storage space, right? Beautiful house like this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna decorate, right? For the holidays. And then we have your full bathroom. I think we have your flex space, right? So this is where you're gonna come entertain your guest or relax after a long day. I love this little bar area that they've installed. Gorgeous cabinets. Yeah, look at that. Look at that space. Did you see yourself living here? Another place, great place for a TV. And then they have this section off our designed as like a little space for a card game. And then you can walk up to the upstairs level. So if you're ready to start your real estate process, whether that's buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate, there is a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Fill out that form and we will schedule a time to meet online via Zoom. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.